Welcome, friends. We're so glad you can join us at the Creek, Creek Bible, Bible Story, Story Time. Time. I'm Teacher Lee. I'm Teacher Annette. I'm Teacher Dana. I'm Teacher Betsy. Teacher Leilani. I'm Teacher Jenny. I'm Teacher Cindy. Let's sing together now, Planted by the River. Boys and girls, welcome to the creek. I am Teacher Betsy. And I'm Teacher Annette. This week we are studying Lesson 15. We are studying Psalm 84. We will learn that God's living presence is our greatest joy. God wants us to know Him and follow His ways. We are learning that when we study and read the Bible, God's true word. Where do we find God's true word, Teacher Annette? In His Holy Bible. Where, boys and girls? In His Holy Bible. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Help us to understand and know that you are a shield, a protector. You bestow favor on us. Blessed is the one who trusts in you. Amen. Amen. Hey, Teacher Annette. Hi, Teacher I Nett. have a friend. <gasps> you do? Yeah, this is my new friend, Joy. Oh, and I have a friend, too. The here's Lammy. Boys and girls, you remember Lammy. Hi, Joy. Hi, Lammy. How are you? I'm good. Welcome you? to River West. Thank you. Yeah. I uh, I was reading my Bible the other day. And you know, did you ever hear of somebody named David? Yes, we've been studying about David becoming a king. King David. Well, I was reading in the scripture that David said that even the birds have homes. Yes, that's right, Joy. It's in the Bible in Psalm 84, 3. It says, Even the sparrows have a home, a swallow, a nest for itself. See, God cares that everything on earth has homes. Teacher Annette, do you have a home? Yes, I do, Joy. I live in Tualatin. I have a home too, Joy. Where do you live? I live in Tigard. Oh, and where do you live, Joy? I don't have a home. Teacher Betsy found me at a thrift stop shop. Oh, well. Joy, listen to the story in God's Word. I really, really want to find God. I want to learn about God. Does He have a home? Can I go there and see Him? Oh, Lord Almighty, my God and my King, Blessed are those who dwell in your house and praise you forevermore. Boys and girls, in our story today, we learn that many people and animals have homes. David said in the Psalms that he would rather spend one day with God than a thousand elsewhere. A long time has passed since David was able to spend time with God. In fact, people began to forget, it, forget about God. Oh, no, I know, Joy, but you know what? God did a great kindness. God sent his son, Jesus, to all people, even me. Yes, Joy, and you too, Lammy, and oh. you too, Annette. Yes. If you trust and believe God, by God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, God made a way for Jesus to live in our hearts so we can know God. Jesus would tell us how to love God. Did you hear that, Lammy? 
We can know God when Jesus comes into our hearts. Oh, that's good news. I want Jesus to live in my heart. Boys and girls, did you hear that? God wants us to learn his ways and follow him. I know I want Jesus to live in my heart. What about you, Teacher Annette? Yes, of course I do. What, what about you, Lammy? Yes, yes. Boys and girls, even you, when you are ready, you can invite Jesus to live in your heart. You can tell your mom and dad when you're ready to do that. I can't wait for Jesus to come in my heart. But you know what, Lammy? I don't have a home. You've got a home. Teacher Annette has a home, and Teacher Betsy has a home. That's okay, Joy. You know God cares for you. You can come live with me at River West Church. Oh, boy, and we can learn about God together. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In God's true word, the Bible, God shows us the path of life. He sent his only son, Jesus, to help us learn about him. Thanks for listening to our story. Bye. Okay, boys and girls. For Lesson 15, Psalm 84, our scripture verse is 84.1. How lovely is your dwelling place, O oh Lord Almighty. Yes, and dwelling place just means that Christ lives in our home. Jesus lives in our home. That's his dwelling place. Let's say it again. Psalm 84.1. How, How lovely, lovely is your dwelling place, place O oh Lord, Lord Almighty. Almighty. Psalm 84, 1. Ready, boys and girls. Say it with us. Stand up, please. Here we go. Psalm 84, 1. How, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, Lord Almighty. Good job. Our main truth is God, my heart, Christ's home. Our main truth is what, Teacher Annette? My, my heart. heart. Christ's home. Welcome back to the Creek Worship Time. I have a special song for you. It is called, I Would Rather Be a Mouse. But before we sing, I want to pray for you. So let's fold our hands. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for these children. and Thank you, God, that you dwell in us and you make us your home and this is amazing to me and I pray that it will be amazing to the kids as well and we praise you for this in Jesus name. Amen. All right well before we sing I want to teach you the hand motions and <clears throat> it starts with the, the sign language for mouse which is this. <laughs> now I am not a sign language expert but I did learn some sign language online today, so I'm going to teach you. So this is mouse. Okay, and so the song goes, I would rather be a mouse, like this. And then the next word is house. In the house of the Lord. Okay, can you do house? Kind of looks like the roof of a house. Then to be a mighty lion. And here's the sign language for lion. It's kind of like the big mane of a lion. Then to be a mighty lion in the jungle. And here's jungle. I think that it must be um, palm trees, probably. And then, like, they pop up. So, uh, and then the next part is, I would rather be a sparrow. Here's a sparrow. It's like a little tiny beak, a bird's beak. It's actually a bird, but I would rather be a sparrow in the house of the Lord. Then I'd hear the joyful praises, and here's praises. Then I'd hear the joyful praises of his people. Oh, but I am not a mouse. Remember mouse? <laughs> oh, but I am not a mouse or a sparrow in the house of the Lord. I am a child of God who loves him. And can you do a heart for who loves him? Okay, and God has made his home in me. Okay, like this, point to yourself. I am God's house. And here's the house. How can this be? And then this is like, how can this be? And then I will proclaim. This is proclaim. I will proclaim this joyful eternity. 
that's it. And if you want to practice more, you can. Thanks, boys and girls, for boys and girls for joining us today, studying Lesson 15, Psalm 84. What did we learn? We learned that Christ's home is in our hearts. See you next time at the creek. Bye. <laughs>